Amidst the darkness of the night, a phone call was made requesting for the police to be dispatched to a certain location somewhere in Poland. It turns out they were called to a small hut which is linked to a criminal case from the 1980s where a cannibal family who owned this same place were eating people and keeping human flesh inside jars. The owner of the place turned out to be Joseph Pluto, a Polish serial killer and mass murderer who went on a two months killing spree and was later captured and sentenced to 12 years in a mental institution only to escape and continue his killing spree before finally getting cornered and taking his own life. Now somewhere in between all the chaos, Joseph sold this hut to Kamilka's family to which 21 year old Kamilka now owns. On December 29th of 2022, Kamilka suffered a minor head injury while playing volleyball and surprisingly the next day she decided to use the Ouija board with her friends and it didn't end very well. Not too long afterwards she barricaded herself inside the hut and began growling late at night. Fearing that she had become possessed the police were called to the location and what they saw left them terrified. A woman growling in a dark room can be seen through the window. Unfortunately, the police officers have no choice but to enter the building. A ty ją widzicie w ogóle? Nie, 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 Understandably, the police officers were frightened and had a hard time getting within close proximity of the woman as she let out demonic growls and threw objects across the room, which would be enough to make most people run away without a second thought. 
and these officers wanted to do the same, thinking they don't get paid enough for this. But after a while, another officer shows up using the name of her daughter to try and lure out the possessed woman. <laughs> The rest of the footage was undisclosed, but after a long struggle, the officers managed to enter the room and overpower the woman and restrain her, where she was then escorted by emergency services to a hospital and later to a psychiatric hospital. However, after conducting tests on her and her blood, no traces of alcohol or any other sort of drugs were found and Kamilka later woke up with no memory of the incident. But she was now completely fine with no mental diagnosis at all. This is what was revealed of the event. However, whether this is the truth or not, we may never know. It is possible that after hitting her head, she somehow became vulnerable to a demonic possession after conducting a Ouija board session and the police didn't show the full footage of the woman being restrained. So just what is really going on here? Is this real evidence of a possession or something else entirely?